Okay, um, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install the TensorFlow Object Detection API. Uh, this will work in Ubuntu 16.04 and Debian 9. So the first thing you want to do is just search TensorFlow Object Detection. Uh, this GitHub link should be the first thing that shows up. Um, this actually takes us into the object detection directory within the overall um, repository. So before we get started, let's just clone this really fast. All right, and I have a specific directory to keep all of my repositories in. So just clone it wherever you feel safe cloning it. Uh, this will probably take a little while because it is a rather large directory. All right, so your next move is just to navigate this file structure to get to object detection. It's just a side research and object detection. All right, so your next move is just to go right to installation here and it tells you everything you need. So what I recommend doing is having a virtual environment to install those things into. Uh, if you don't know how to use virtual M for Python, um, I recommend you either just look it up because it's fairly simple, or I can make a video on it if there's any interest. So, Otherwise you can install all these dependencies directly on your machine, but I highly recommend you don't do that. So virtual M's, TensorFlow, and activate. All right. And if you know how virtual env works, you'll know that now anything I pip install um, will just be in this TensorFlow environment. So I actually already have everything uh, that I need installed in here. So I'm not too worried about installing all this stuff, except for this right here. But yeah, I already installed that too. So just make sure you load up a virtual environment and then you can get started. Um, after installing all these things inside of there, and right, Jupyter, Matplotlib, uh, which I already have, you'll be ready to get started. Um, the only other dependency that you'll really have to install is this thing called Protoc or the Protobuf compilation. So you can just go right to github.com, Google, Protobuf, releases. And if you're on Linux, you just want to grab this one right here. I already installed it a few times. So it's nothing really to install. You could just move this anywhere where you think it's safe. So what I would do is just move it into the uh, the repository you just installed. So I'm going to move mine to so I'm going to move Protoc the zip folder over to um, my repos well, home repos and the models right here is what we just installed. So models. Well, yeah, so there's nothing left in my downloads. So I'll see you there. And go back to repos. Models. Okay. So let's just make a directory real quick for Protoc. All right. We'll move that into that directory. We'll move into that directory. Okay, and then just unzip it. So, all right, and the actual, well, we can remove the zip folder now. So, okay, so the actual command or the actual thing you want to point this to. So, here it says from TensorFlow models research. So, inside the research folder, you want to point this to Protoc. And this Protoc is right here. So 
it's inside bin. All right, that's what you're pointing to. So let's go back. Models, and then move into research. <coughs> now you're just going to specify the full path. So what you'll do is just home repos. Um, it's our option. So yeah, models, protoc, bin, protoc. All right, and then. You can take this piece here and copy and paste it. All right. And if you see something failed here, it's probably because you have to point to the entire path. All right. So I didn't just do ProTalk. I pointed to the whole path where I installed ProTalk. Okay. So the next move you want to make is to export your Python path here. And you can put that in your bash RC too. So, um, but you don't have to. It's just if you don't want to export it, I would. Um, and yeah, so from here, we can pretty much just run the Jupyter Notebook. that. Oh, well, a better move would probably be to go to the object detection repository. So go to where we installed it, go to research, uh, yeah, and then object detection. Okay, now we're on your Jupyter Notebook. All right, and you'll see all of these, um, all these files, directories. The only one you're really worried about here is here, this IPython notebook. Okay, just trust that real quick. So, what we can do is we can run it one by one if you're interested in all the code. But if you just want to get running immediately, you can just go to cell and run all. Now, up here you can see this little uh, hourglass, and it could take a while, so don't think that it's not working. Um, just as long as you're seeing this hourglass, it's, it's, it's trying its best, but this could take a little bit. <coughs> so, this is getting, um, what you're doing here is you're running this on a pre-trained model. Um, so and these you can find these photos they just showed up you can find these photos within um, the directory too and you can probably add your own photos but this is just how to install it really fast and get up and running as quick as possible <laughs>